33 destinations from the, from the 90 applications that have been successful. We have three of those that uh, are in overseas uh, destinations. So we have two in New Zealand and one in Singapore. And then around the country, the states are, are pretty well represented with uh, a lot of different towns, some that are less known than others, that I'm sure will be very, very popular. Number 29 is Wajin in WA. It's going to be wonderful in those uh, each of those locations. They'll all bring something a little bit different and uh, we're really looking forward to, to sharing the cup with Australia and the world. It will be exciting when they, they haven't been told yet because I've been under um, tight lip <laughs> as, as they just told us to be and when I get home they'll be copying a lot and they'll be excited because we've had a hard time with uh, drought, fires, flood, virus, knock the place about a fair bit. The darling of the turf has raced clear three lengths in set of eyes and it's very elegant, ten group ones and now the greatest of them all, the Melbourne Cup. It's great isn't it, the 20th uh, edition of the Lexus Melbourne Cup Tour in the 20th anniversary of the partnership with Lexus and now we've just heard an announcement of an extension of another two years. It takes us to 2024 and the partnership keeps growing, keeps getting longer and uh, we couldn't be more delighted. 20 years uh, the VRC and Lexus have been in partnership but we have just extended our naming rights sponsorship of the Melbourne Cup for a further two years. McCabe Diva in front, she's Archie tries hard but McCabe Diva wins the cup. So the moment that I won my first Melbourne Cup it changed my life and then the, obviously getting to experience that, get to experience that three times in a row um, took things to a new level. We were so excited for what my dad and all of his brothers were able to achieve, but also, you know, Bossy and, and Tony Santic, her owner as well. It was it was their cup to celebrate, but I'm glad that they let everybody right across the country get involved and, and really celebrate that momentous occasion as well because I don't think it'll be done again. When people ask you about the, the, the winning the Melbourne Cup, what's your answer? And he said, my answer is, unless you've done it, and Danny O'Brien said it today, uh, unless you've done it, you can't explain it. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I was raised a Catholic and they used to have a thing called the a holy day of obligation. Well, the Melbourne Cup to me has always been a holy day of obligation that you stop everything and you settle in for the afternoon and, and nearly cry when the horses cross the line kind of thing. So it's, it's passionate in me, mate. Bloody, I'm stuck crying in a minute. I'm really happy to get in involved this year with the Lexus Melbourne Cup Tour. It's going to be a huge event.